Hi guys. So today we're going to solve the problem string compression from this book. How to uh, uh, cracking the coding interview. Page 91, uh, question 1.6. Page 91, question 1.6. String compression. All right, beautiful. All right, so here's the question. Let me just see if I can make it bigger for you guys. Just, just for now. All right, so question is, Implement a method to perform a basic string compression using the counts of repeated characters. For example, if you're giving A, A, B, C, 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 A, three A's, you compress it to A, two, meaning there's two A's, one B, five C's, and three A's. And then if each character is unique, mean unique mean that they are, they do not repeat, just return the string by itself. Okay? The question is really simple. So here's my algorithm. So we need a count variable to keep track of each character. That's obvious. That's obviously. I there's also something else that I implement. We all we need another count variable for cases when the characters are unique. And that's the part that I'm going to explain here as well. So in so inside of a loop, we're going to check if the first if the first character is equal to the second character. And if that is true, we would increase the counter. Um, the count plus plus. We don't really need to increase this one. And then we'll move on. Now, if that is not true, all you do is just uh, create a new string where you add that character plus the count to it. That's all you're doing. And then you set count back to one. Because count is going to start from one, not zero. And then you increment again. So it's it's pretty s simple. Now for the case where, for the case where uh, the strings the the characters are unique, all of them, you, we're gonna add a new a new variable to it called total count, and we, we would increment total count over in the else case. So let me put that here. Total count. We'll increment this over here. Now when the total count equals the length of the string length. I didn't spell that right. Then we'll return the string by itself. Okay, so enough talking. Let me run this algorithm. Let me just decrease the size. Beautiful. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm writing. All right, so we're going to let's create string compression. That takes a string, obviously. So the first thing is we want to create these variables that we need. So let count. That's first one. Count. So that's a one. Then the total output. Then the output, the new string that I'm trying to make. That's an empty string, obviously, first. And then the unique count. I'm going to call this the unique count, not total count. Up here, I call it the total count, but I'm going to call it unique count. Unique count. The unique count, we're going to set that to zero. I'm going to explain why that, that equals to zero. Now, now that we have this set, let's start our loop. Basic loop, let i equal zero. i is, I is less than the, the string's length. Well, given that I might, I'm going to use the string's length, in the multiple cases, I, since since I'm going to use it a lot, let me just, it's a constant anyway, so let's, let's set it to n. So i is less than n, i plus plus. Okay, now inside of here, we're going to compare if this character, if the first character equals the second character. That's what I'm doing. So inside the loop, We'll check left and right if if the string's first character if it equals the string's second character, and if this is the case, then count should increase. We should. I don't need. The, I don't need a bracket for this one. Count should increase. Now, if that's not the case, if it's not the case that they do not equal each other in a case where it's unique. 
Or in a case where you, you go from A to B over here, A to B, they do not, in, in that case, what you do is you set the output, you just, you attach it to the output. Simple as that. That's what, that's what I'm doing. I'm attaching it to the output. And I'm adding my count with it. And then I'm resetting my count to one, obviously, and then my unique count, incrementing that. And that's it. That's literally it. We just need to create a case where it's unique. So when it's unique, we say if the unique count equals the string's length, then return the string itself. That's it. Else, return the output that we made. So this is beautiful. This is really nice. Okay, so let's test this. Let's test this out console.log I'm printing out uh, object console.log so you can see we try this string compression beautiful beautiful let's see okay it should work now let's try the, let's try it with another one a b c d a unique case so we say string compression. Now we say A, B, C, D. And then now let's print this out. Let's see if we get what we're looking for. Bash. And then no test. Mm -hmm. Test. Beautiful. It's exactly what we got. We compress this, as you can see. This is the result. Let me let me show you the result just in case you you cannot see it. Make it bigger. This is the result. Take a look at that. You see that? So the unique case returned the unique sh the string itself, and the one that's not unique returned exactly how one is string compression. So I hope you enjoy the code. Let me decrease the length. I hope the video helped you guys. If this is your first time, please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.